the Ring of Fire eclipse. That is happening in fewer than 24 hours, and you could see part of it right here in Jacksonville. Yeah, uh, the Weather Authority meteorologist Mark Collins is going to show us what to expect. Um, we can see it, hopefully, Richard, right? I mean, we're going to see a large part of it, yeah. And yeah. we're turn around as we get ready for the total eclipse. And here's Mark. <sighs> turn around. Bright eyes. All heads looking high tomorrow because of the annular eclipse. It, it's not going to be a total eclipse over us, but a partial one. You can see, very excited here. I am ready with my NASA solar glasses, and this is the only way you can see them safely. But there are a few other options that I'm going to tell you about on how to view tomorrow's annular eclipse. Now, we're not going to be in the direct path. That's 850 miles away, so don't get too excited about this. But if you happen to be in Texas, over to Oklahoma, this is the path which will make it look like a ring of fire in the sky when the moon moves right over the sun. That's going to be like the most spectacular view of this. Now, for us here in southern Georgia, north Florida, we're going to be only seeing a partial part of that 52% blockage. And even though it's going to be blocked a little bit by the moon, again, you need the glasses to be safe. You don't want to burn out the eyeballs. But this is kind of how it'll look if you've got these sunglasses on your head. So when will you see it? Well, you, it's going to be a long process starting at about 11.50 in the morning, give or take four to five minutes, depending on where you are. It's going to happen a little bit sooner in Waycross and a little bit later down towards St. Augustine. But around 1.22 is when you're going to see the maximum part of the moon coming in and offering up some of that blockage of the sun. And then by around three o'clock, it's all done. If you want to go and see it and you don't have one of these glasses, you can go to the UNF watch party. There will be people with some of these glasses that you can borrow and maybe you'll get lucky and they'll even be able to hand out a few. But in addition, you'll be able to build some boxes, pinhole boxes that you could use to safely see the annular eclipse and of course learn more because the people at UNF, they certainly know uh, all about astronomy there in their physics department. So head on out to the green next to the Fine Arts Center and enjoy your annular eclipse tomorrow afternoon. Well, Jacksonville University will host an eclipse watch party tomorrow. There will be solar telescopes to give people a closer look. The event is from noon to three at the Dolphin Green or the Larry Strama Amphitheater. If you want to attend, JU recommends you enter the campus at the Merrill Road Traffic Circle and continue straight down the hill.